Hello and welcome to the pregnancy workout series. This is my very first one. I am currently six weeks pregnant. I have my little peanut. This is my third pregnancy and my second baby. So it's a rainbow baby. And we are gonna do today is a cardio strength and interval workout. So 15 minutes. Just enough for that little burst of energy you may have. I know first trimester is tiring and it also help you shift right into the second one with a little bit more ease. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll get my timer going. We're gonna go ahead and start with a little jog. You can do marching, do what's comfortable. You can pick it up if you are in good shape and maybe I've already been running and doing some good workouts. So this is our warm up. Next we'll be doing a side lunge reach. We'll start with your right leg, reach, step out and then reach with your left arm and then go to the other side. Go as deep as you can. Remember, this is a warm up. You don't want to go too deep. We're going to get into the moves here in a second. You can see the obliques working. Really feel a nice stretch. And if you can really get into it, you can feel it down into your side near your hip flexor. Next, we're going to do a side step. So get your side step going and forward arm circles. Loosen some things up before we get into our first move of the workout. Bringing up the heart rate slowly, really important. And rolling back. First move is gonna be a side shuffle. And we're gonna go ahead and start this way. And reach down, come up, and then shuffle. Go as fast or slow as you want, modifier. You step it. Go as low as comfortable. You don't even have to reach. You can just come down like this. And then to bring up the intensity, if you're in good shape, make it work. Stick out the butt, knees are over heels. 10 more seconds. Then we have a 15 second break. So our intervals are 45 seconds. 50 second break, two rounds. All right, there's our 15 second break. And next we're gonna be doing a sumo squat. Just move, you can tell I'm already breathing hard. Heart rate's up. Just do a little shuffle here, side step. Okay, knees out, chest is up. This is your sumo squat. If you need a bench, I have one. You can always use it if you feel a little less balanced. So you can go as deep as comfortable for you. You could just be here as well. Now to bring it up, you can go up on your toes. This is where you might need a bench or you just stay down here because we are pregnant and balance is a little more off. Okay, chest is up. If you keep your hands here, sometimes that helps. And we are done with this move, 15 second break. Woo! Next, we just have jumping jacks. Modifier though, you don't have to jump. You can just do a side step. So if you feel like you still have a weak core or leakage. All right, here we go. So this is full on jumping jack, modifier. You can still really get a workout with the modifier. There you go. Or bring it all the way up. Bring that heart rate back up. Ooh. Some days I have energy and other days I just want to sleep right now. Woo! There you go. Keep it up. Sometimes working through being tired will help you in the long run. Less than 10 seconds. Yeah. Working those outer thighs. Oh, 
15 second break. Then we're gonna do reverse lunge. We'll start with your right side. And then we'll have an extra move in there I'll show you too. Okay, here we go. And lunge back. You can bring your toe tap here, or you can bring a knee up. Or to modify it more, you don't even have to lunge. You could just be right here. Go as deep as comfortable. Form is the most important. You can switch up, knee up, or you can do this tap. The options are there for you. Woo! Feel burning on this side. Make sure your knee is over your foot. I will do a side view when we do the other leg. Five seconds. Woohoo! Two, one. All right, 15 second break. And then we're gonna be lunging our left side back. So you can forward face me if you'd like. I'm just doing the side view for you. Let's go ahead and get started. So you can see my knee is over my foot. It's not going too far forward. And I'm not leaning back. Chest is up. Form is huge. You can bring the knee up if you feel comfortable. That definitely takes a lot more stability in your opposite leg. Keep going at your pace. It's a good burner. Keep your baby and you in shape. 15 seconds. Woo! These 45 seconds go fast. Good work. There we go. Break. All right. So keep moving. We're going to do a curtsy lunge. Five single curtsy lunges, and then we're going to do some pulsing. So we'll start with your right side, kicking it back. Here we go. Singles. Again, you can use your stool. Use this one, especially for balance. Oh, it's a good one for if you feel like you're, you need it. And make sure your hips are facing forward. Form is always the most important. Shoulders back, chest up. Lots to think about. Working this other side here. Woo! And pulse. There we go. Keep pulsing. And back to singles. Woo! We'll finish out the singles. There you go, 15 second break. And then we'll go to your left side. Woo! And then we'll be done with the first round. <sighs> Three, two, and start. So singles, remember to bring that stool over to the opposite side if you need it. Only go as deep as you can, maybe you're only right here. Engaging that core too. Making sure that you're not arching your back. Woo! And just keep moving and get that heart rate up. You should be feeling it on your side hip here. And I'm putting that weight into your heel. Feel it in your hamstring too. And pulse. I almost forgot to pulse. We're gonna finish it up pulsing. Keep it down and done. There we go. 15 second break. Going into round two. So we're gonna be doing that shuffle. And we'll start that way. Shuffle, reach. Go as low as you can. Stay up higher if you need to. And away we go. Take as many shuffles as your space allows. Move the kids' toys, if you already have a kiddo, out of the way. Move that table. Or get some help moving the table. <laughs> Use the space you have. I would love to know what you think of this, this workout. I always like to hear from people and pictures. You can find me on Facebook too. You can get little clips of the workout. Yeah, it's Melinda Butterson, Running Fit Mama. 
you can search for. Break! There we go. Woo! Okay. Ah. One more second. And then sumo squat. Okay, here we go. Down, up. Squeeze those glutes when you come up. There you go. Woo! Adjust your feet as needed. Toes are pointed out. Chest is up. Woo! And you can come onto those toes if you want. It takes. Now I'm doing them slower because I'm working on balance and stability here. Woo! Okay, 15 more seconds. I'm a sweating. Good workout to start your day, do it during lunch, do it at the end of the day, whenever you can find those moments. Break. I know we're all busy doing something. If you can compact these 15 minutes in, you feel so good and re-energize too, especially during that first trimester. All right, jumping jacks, here we go. Remember, you can step out, you can even add a little kind of hop in there, or you can do a full on jumping jack. <sighs> Good work. And I'm gonna bring it down to the modifier. Woo! Still working it. Working the side of the glutes as well, the arms, and just bringing up the heart rate. Woo! Actually maintaining the heart rate, it's been up. Woo! Five, three, and done. 15 second break. Reverse lunge, knee up, or you're bringing it to the side. Go ahead and restart with your right side in one moment. Let's keep a shuffle going. And away we go. Knee up if you would like, or a tap, or maybe it's in between somewhere. And always be using that stool if you need it for balance. Woo! My balance is feeling pretty good for the most part today. The other day, I felt like I was tripping over my feet. Woo! There you go. Proper form is the most important. As always, watch yourself, make a video, do a workout in front of the mirror. Five seconds, and then we switch sides after our little break. Oh, I feel it on my glute. There we go. Okay. Woo! We're gonna go to our next side here. And here we go. And back. Keep it up. Whew. Determination, dedication, working through it. Even if you do feel a little tired, modify, move your body. Your body will thank you. And so are your baby. Oh, good work. You can go deeper if you'd like. Just make sure your weight is in your heel. Oh. Three seconds. Woo. And we are gonna be going into our curtsy lunge next for our last move. All right, Go with your right side and curtsy single. Two, three, on the fifth, we're gonna pulse, hold it here, pulse. Four, five, back to singles. I know the first round, I did it a little different. <laughs> and hold it, pulse, chest is up, remind yourself, shoulders back, and bring it back up, and singles. Woo! Hips are forward. And bring it down, and pulse, and break. 
Now we're gonna go to the other side. And it's our last move. Woo! Three, two, and one. Here we go. Singles. Woo! Three, four, and then hold it here and pulse. Two, three, four, five. Back to singles. One, three, four, and hold and pulse. Two, three, four, five. You should really be feeling that burn. Three, and pulse it out. Finish strong. We have three seconds. Finish it out. And done. Size up here for a few seconds, and then we're gonna do two nice deep breaths. Woo! Okay, legs out, come down, take a deep breath in, then exhale. One more time. Appreciate what your body just did for you. Do a quad stretch. Grab a stool if you need it. Pull it back, knees together. Feels good right up into the hip flexor. Chest up. Oh, I can feel it. Okay. If you need your stool, use it. Otherwise, maybe you just have awesome balance right now. Okay. Hold it here for a few seconds. We're gonna do a hamstring stretch. Kick it out, you can reach down. The hamstrings are really tight. You can always place your hand on your foot too. Ah, oh, my right one especially is tight. Okay, next I want you to do, kinda like what we did in the beginning, Crutch. We worked that side there, the glute. Stretch a little bit of that, go on the other side. And here we go. Nice stretch. Breathe, always remember to breathe. You can stretch a calf and go against the wall. Stretch it out good. And then switch. You can do a little bit longer if you'd like. We'll end with one more breath. Make sure to subscribe to my video so you get the email sent to you whenever there's a new video out and then you're ready to do your next workout. All right, take good care. Always respond if you say that. Post a comment down below. I'd love to respond to you as well. I'd like to know how you're doing, what your journey looks like. All right, take good care. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.